Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now in the last episode, we had focused more on the New World and Invesa fulfilling some of their final obscure lifestyle goods. And today isn't going to be that different, we're still going to be wrapping up some of the lifestyle goods, but that's the important point. I think we're finally ready to fulfill the demands of the last remaining tiers. Production seems to outweigh consumption for all the remaining goods, so it's just a matter of delivering them to where they need to go rather than building any more production buildings. In theory, we've built our final production buildings. There's nothing more to add. We have everything we need. We just need to get it to where it needs to go. So let's begin. So we left off in the previous episode dealing with the Yornaleros. So we have everything for the Artistas. We have everything for the Obreros. I think. Looks good to me. Obviously, male withstanding, okay? <laughs> male is withstanding on, on all that. But on the Yornaleros front, they need... Work, clothes, and teff. So those are the two things that we're going to have to produce for them. I'm actually seeing some stuff here, though. What's empty? You're missing sugar. Hmm. We'll check in on that a bit later. So like I said, some of those obscurities might end up happening. But other than that, we're really getting close to the end. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. We we're focused on teff, and we're going to be doing work clothes now as well. So teff came from this island here of Indiegogo over in Mbesa. We built some of these teff farms just previously, but I kind of rushed it at the end of the episode, so I've cleaned them up slightly and then just added a couple more because we have plenty of workforce to do the work here and get all this TEF together. But we never actually put it on the trade routes to sort it out. So TEF already has a supply down here or a route delivering it, but it's actually taking it away from Tabarim and delivering it in different order. So we're just going to change this now. This is going to pick it up from Indiegogo, I think. And we'll have to add some storage actually thinking about it. I don't think it's needed here anymore. We'll say unload. So we're not making Tabarim the main producer anymore. Indiegogo is the main producer, and we're dropping it off at Tabarim and at the clay supplier place, which is going to be full anyway, so it's not really a big deal. It just kind of adds a bit of time, if anything. All right, we'll hit accept on that. Let's see if we can get maybe uh, a storage depot. A little bit of extra storage for these guys. No point in having it more than 300. The ship can only take 300, so we'll leave it at that. Okay, so these guys are basically set. And, of course, in the future, we're going to be doing some beautification I don't know how long that's going to take, but of each island, trying to make them all look good. So things might, the order of things might change, but the amount of buildings and stuff should be remaining the same. Okay, so that's Tef. So Tef is going to basically head over here to Tabarim, and then we need to set up a route that takes it out of here. Um, ideally, to the New World. So we might have a route that does this already. I don't want to type New World, that's a bit silly. Maybe, I'll oh, type question mark. Importing from the lifestyle billiard tables with an open slot in Besa to the New World. We've got an empty slot here on this ship. Interesting. So, just to have a quick look. It's going to be... Oh, actually, sorry. This is coming from... I'm an idiot. Wrong category. We want in Besa to the New World. There we go. So, Lanterns looks like it has three open slots. So, let's just have a look at Lanterns and Illuminated Scripts. <clears throat> and see roughly what were those amounts. Lanterns and Illuminated Scripts. So we have to check the consumption of the New World. I think that's how I worked out what went on that. So it's four turns per... Um, tons? Turns? <laughs> four tons per minute. And then I'm guessing Illuminated Manuscript is going to be about two, which it is. So that's good to see. So what is Tef? Probably high, I would imagine. It's eight. Did that just basically work out perfect? K kind of. Three slots should maybe do it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll chance it. Um, okay, so it's going to be this route right here. You're going to be picking up Tef. And then we're going to be dropping it off at Manola, and then it has to get distributed. Alright. Easy as that. So, in theory, that is Tef now worked out. If we check it in the statistics screen again, just really quickly, and we type Tef. Globally, we're making 27 tons over a consumption of 26. Half of that's not actually being consumed right now, so there might be some buildings, production buildings that use it. I'm sure the population are going to consume it just fine. Not really a problem there. So the other thing, moving on straight away, is going to be work clothes. Now, we actually got... The reason my influence is so low is because I've queued up a few different ships. But I've also just done a newspaper where I did some propaganda. But one of the original titles was that people were walking around naked. <laughs> some places don't have clothes, I guess. So it's one of the few remaining goods that we haven't achieved um, satisfaction on. So that's what we got to do. So let's just, I guess, do the old trick. Consumption, looks like work clothes. We're making 48 over 44. Some of it isn't always running, though, in Rush, Malahide, Rush. <clears throat> Excuse me. Scary. These are moving around because it's based on productivity. Is, can we just do it sort by workforce? Just keep it static. 
or by region. That makes the most sense. There we go. All right, so Crown Farm's working overtime. Malahide stopped starting a little bit. Rush definitely stopped starting. So why is that? Are they, I'm assuming they're just filling up. Yep. All right. Let's see what our roots are doing for that. Workflows. New world to the old world. So there's already a root setup taking it to the new world, which is great. But there doesn't seem to be any collection of it from anywhere. So that could be the, your that's your main problem right there. Yeah, yeah. All right, I might need to break out the pen and paper for this one just real quick because there's so many different places that are making it. Just want to make sure we get it right where it needs to. <coughs> God damn, I need to take a drink maybe. Uh, where it needs to go. So rush, scaries, malahide. So. Yeah, let me just write this down really quickly. So, Rush, um, Scaries. I'm imagining some of these places are just basically self-sufficient. You don't need to actually collect it, but we'll see. And then Crown Farms. Yeah. So, that's a lot of different places doing it, you know? Okay. So, for work clothes, we know that it has to go to the New World. It doesn't have to go to these guys, right? These guys are totally fine. So, this island doesn't need work clothes. I don't think. There's no one on this island that now needs this. it. This is what I the a free press is the sign nope. of don't think so anyway, right? So I think we're good. So we don't have to worry about that. What we do have to think about, though, is islands such as this. We could make a global route, a multi-regional route that just delivers it. I don't know if that's a bit lazy, though. I think I used to have one that did it that way. One other thing to check, then, would be the Arctic. Do they need work clothes? I don't I think so. I really you know, believe it. You're supposed to be working. All right, um, yeah, don't think so. So that seems like it only is needed here in the old world, Cape Trelawney, and then, okay, the new world. Um, right, so we'll take some out of here. Let's just check this place on its own. We make 20 over 18, so there's two tons in excess. Overall, there's four tons in excess, so it does mean we need a ship to pull from here if we want this to work out. So let's start here. Trade routes, Cape Trelawney. Pick it right up from there. We'll set a reserve. We're close. All right. So then we're going to go to the old world. And I think the next place to take it from is going to be Rush. I think. Let me just put this one in temporarily as well. And then this ship is going to go on to the new world. I don't think there's any point in sending it to... Uh, actually, there is. We'll send it to Lusk as the final destination. I think that's always still the best thing. Because then other ships can just take it or put it onto a ship that has an empty slot that's already going to the New World. Could work out better. Right. <clears throat> so this can be... We'll just make it a normal ship. I don't think it needs to be a weird one. Alright, the Malibu. It's actually in the New World right now. Let's try to get one that's just here. I oh, you can't do that. I mean in um, the Old World. Any old world ships? They're all full of items right now. I don't want to select it. There we go. Ah, uh, not that one. God damn. Okay, I'll just have to accept, clear up a ship, and then we can put it on this route. So we're going to call this... Work. Well, it's coming from Cape Trelawney. So... Cape to the old world. Export. Work. Close. Alright, something like that. Let's just hit accept for the moment. So... <clears throat> we got to free up a ship. There's a bunch of them here, they just have too many things on them, that's all. Uh, so, yeah, I guess you take that, why not? And... Let's just give you these three ladies. Alright, the Ocean Spoon 2. All right, cool. Took me a while to get it. Okay, so the only thing I'm just wondering is, do I even have to pick up from Russian Malahide? So let's just check that really quickly, but we can let the route get started. So now I'll check Rush. 18 over 12, so that's that's a lot. That's good. Malahide? I would say you could almost leave it. I mean, if they're overproducing, I suppose, why not collect it? And just overall, it'll bounce out. It just adds to the time it takes to deliver all these things, I guess. Hmm. I guess we'll just feel it out. Like I said, we'll see how these trade kinks go. So it's going to be Crown Farms, Russian Malahide, and then to Lusk. Okay. So we'll set a generous cap on it of about 3,000. So don't go under that. Just take the skim of it off the top. 
That's a, a good 400. We can store 3,400 materials here, so you're able to take 400 work clothes away. Not that that ship should ever do it, because it only has 300 slots. Um, but based on how much it's making, it shouldn't actually even be taking a, that much after one or two runs already, if that makes sense. Because it's not producing enough to fill up 300 by the time it's gone. Okay, so next one would be this island. So again, set another generous amount. Uh, 400. So that leaves us with another 400 gap. And then again, down here. So your gap's going to have to be 300. Okay. So we'll just leave that, I think. Because once it arrives down here, didn't I already say that work close is added? Yeah, it's going to the New World. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it's such an idiot. But yeah. I was nearly going to make it go to the New World. No, no point in doing that because it's already set up to do so. So this ship is taking typewriters, glasses, or spectacles, and work clothes, but it hasn't been able to pick up any because there's none there. But it should be fine. How is, out of curiosity, how so Swords has like a bunch. How are they getting? Oh, it doesn't need it. It's probably just there from an old, a long time ago. Kind of tempted to go over and just pick a bunch up now and send it manually over to the New World or something. <laughs> Got a Great Eastern here with nothing on it. Should we just do one manual run? Just for fun. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about, I guess, yeah, let me just take a drink really quickly. Okay, the next thing is schnapps. Schnapps is ne needed in the Arctic, but I also noticed it was running out here, I think, for one of the restaurants. Yeah. So there's obviously a problem with wherever this has been made and delivering it. So let's check global production. Shnappas. Oh my god, we make a lot. I think it's all made in Crown Farms. Yeah, the majority anyway. Some of it's made in Malahide, actually. Interesting. I had a... Yeah, quite a lot, actually, it seems. Why is there so many? <laughs> Let's see. So they make 14 tons. They consume 7. Wow. So what does swords consume? 2. What does the Arctic consume? 8. So that means we need to get it from Cape Trelawney because it's more than we'd be able to supply. So we have to set up a very similar route, actually, basically, than we did last time, which is trade route, Cape Trelawney. Oh, let me just check if we have one already. A temporary route. Ah, oh, this is where we're taking schnapps and selling it to um, Old Nate just to keep ethanol production up. Arctic imports. So they're taking it from Lusk. They're supposed to be, but it's not being sent there. So that's already set up as well. Glacier supply is already set up with it. So that's all done in the Arctic. Schnapps export from the New World, bizarrely. And they have that as well. So it's even been sent to the New World. <clears throat> Schnapps. How come I don't see that, though? Where are they getting it in the New World? Cape to the New World. Oh, that's sending it to the New World. Sorry, my bad. I was reading it the wrong way around. Cool. All right. I guess we just need a an export from the Cape to the Old World. And that's it. And they should have more than enough to do this. Wonder could I have maybe... Yeah, doubled it up with that. Probably not. I think the demand is too high. I'll just give it a dedicated ship. I'm okay with that. And then here... Export S C H N A P P S. Cool. And then we say Cape to Old World. Easy as that. So that's seems like it's been sent everywhere it needs to be, except for swords. Yeah. So maybe is there any ships that aren't doing anything that go to swords? There's one that's going to the Arctic. No. We'll have to create a little collection route then as well. Let's say just keep this in the old world. We'll put a standard ship on it. Let's just say the Orion. Surprise wind. I have to take some from the new world because they're just all packed with items for some reason. <clears throat> okay, so what's going to happen with this is, let's say, swords. Let's say that Malahide is also producing a lot. It could just go between the two, but I think it should deliver any excess back to Lusk as well if it needs it. So we'll say um, Schnapps needs to be unloaded. So we need to load it up down here. Unload there. Unload there. But we have to reverse the route. This is an so. exception. 
So we're picking up from Malahide, then we're dropping it to Swords, and then anything left over eventually will go to Lusk, because it will be left over eventually, just not early on. You could... I'll call, I'll call this just, um... Yeah, well, it's really just Schnapp's delivery. But I'll leave a question mark on it, because it doesn't need to be this much. You could easily free these slots up if you wanted to, right? So it's like the potential for adjustment if you want. Okay. So let's set another little limit. Minimum stock. Surprisingly, actually, that's a bit of a red flag. <clears throat> Why is this not full? Who's taking from here? Oh, and I just realized there's a festival. You're not getting free drinks, are you? They provide bonus income from those things. Okay, that's not too bad, as long as it's not faking my numbers out. So let me type in Malahide and just see, is there schnapps on this? There is. Oh, it's just the one we just made. Has the ship already left? No, that's coming from the New World. I don't know why it would be, it seems to be 600 less than is in the storage. It's kind of strange, right? I don't know who's taken by now. I haven't touched this out in a long time. Like, why isn't that full? And there's potatoes, right? That which they make the schnapps from. We're taking every care. No idea. That's a bizarre one. I guess one other thing you could check, just because I'm curious, the storage of schnapps. What's happened? Oh. Docklands. No, it's not Docklands. Stock over time, so it dipped 99 minutes ago, it dipped 39 minutes ago, but am I crazy? I can't find what's taking. Passive trade. Trade routes? Malahide production. Oh, I know what it is. Right at the beginning of the episode, I, I deleted this route. This route doesn't exist anymore. It was delivering schnapps to um, Lusk, as, as well as some iron. Or I took the iron off the route. I don't know if I deleted the route entirely. Malahide production. There it is now. Yeah, so I took the iron and the schnapps off of this. Because it was all combined onto one route. And I was like, this is super complicated. So I just deleted those two things. I didn't even really check what else that's doing. Anyway, at least that problem solved. I was just really couldn't understand why that would be less. But at least we know now. Okay, so did I set that up correctly? Did I do anything wrong with it? Let's just double check. Lingering feeling that something's not quite handled. So let's just map it out. We're taking schnapps in from Cape Trelawney, delivering it in here. Oh yeah, I have to add the uh, reserve. That's one thing I gotta do. Old world. Oh, we're actually bringing it up to Lusk already. So I don't need to make that route with the question mark then. That one doesn't need to exist. All right. So the excess that's being made here isn't really being utilized, but screw it, it doesn't matter. We could sell it in Docklands there or something if we wanted to, so just delete that route, that's done. Alright, long story short, what's happening is Malahide producing schnapps, we're just going to leave it there, no big deal. The stuff that's coming from Cape Trelawney will arrive into Lusk, and it's already set up to go to Swords. It's also already set up to go to the Arctic, so it should all work itself out, I think. So we'll leave it. Okay, what was next on my list? Um, the Explorer Lifestyles is having a shortfall, apparently. So, the Explorer Lifestyle, I think it was for Tallow. Yeah. Tallow's having an issue. So this one actually I didn't look at. Maybe we don't cons produce enough Tallow. That could be one where we need new production buildings. Oh yeah. There's something not quite right here. So, we make it in Crown Farms through some items, and I think through some other things too, but maybe we could activate Docklands and see if we can get it up and running. Tallow is supposed to come in, ah, that's why, through Gramophones, but that was a lazy implementation. We should sell something that we actually have. Let's see how much we need globally. Tallow. So we make eight, so we need 32 tons per minute. 32 times 23, whatever that is. Let me just check really quickly on the calculator. 32 times 23 is going to be 736 is roughly what we need to pull in. So let's see. Can we do Shampagan? Do Steel? They've got Steel. 178 Steel. I just don't know if it would be enough. Let's just say yes to that for a moment and see does Steel ever make its way out here or is it all just locally produced? 
New world to old world. Old world delivery of steel. So it, the steel that we produce or import through Docklands. Sorry, we produce in Lusk and sell through Docklands. We don't make anything here. But what we could do is just check really quickly then. Intermediate steel. So we make 12 tons per minute. So the question is, 12 times 23 is not going to be enough. It's 276. 276. 178. Okay, so to actually work this out properly, what we have to do is say it's actually 8, because 4 of it's consumed. So 8 times 23. 23 is the time it takes for the guy to arrive from Docklands. That's 184. It looks like we're actually in the clear then. 184 is what I could be getting rid of. And I'm getting rid of 178. So it'll be okay. I think. Just about. Um, okay, so. Tallow. Is this route already operational? Cape is exporting tallow already. It's been told to wait until it reaches full tallow. Which means it's probably... Oh no, it's on route now. Okay, so that's also going to be working. It'll take a little time for that to feel the effect. But that will get delivered up to the explorers. And hopefully that's set. That should be okay, I think. Um, oh yeah, we could also get things that make people consume less stuff. That would be nice. And we could probably reduce the population here, which I plan on doing. I don't mind increasing it anywhere else we can, but it's not necessary. The Arctic is the only biome where I'd say reduce those numbers as much as you can. So it's just a strain on everything. As long as you're getting the gas out of it, you don't need to be pumping anything else into it. Um, okay, so that was for the explorers. The technicians, I think, have everything already. Yeah. Cool. They might not have it on every island yet, but that's not what I'm concerned with just right now. All right, next thing then is back over to the shepherds. They need jam and grain, apparently. So our tier one class in Mbesa, they're just lacking grain and jam. They have everything else. We could do these two on the same route, perhaps. Perhaps. I think the biggest grain producer is this island here. They have all this grain up here. Oh my god. They're out of fertilizer. Ooh, that's going to be an issue. Three ships delivering fertilizer. I think we're probably consuming too much of it. This is such a complicated route. For them all to run out like that's quite concerning. There's thousands on those islands. So where where is the where is it kind of stopping? Let's see. So Puerto Venus, yep, that's good. Manola, that's good. It then hits the smaller islands of Alicante and Estepona, and then it's on to Birdseye in Embesa. So, just looking at it and their storage, 351 on the island exiting this place. So it seems like it's already running out by the time it gets out of here, which would make sense. We're only two. It only goes to two more places. It goes to Embesa, Birdseye. And that's empty. And then Crown Farms, which is also empty. Yep, I guess it's uh, not been made enough. So that's a tricky one, actually. Yeah, slightly under. Only slightly. That's the end of Fertilizer Works right there. Can we just get another one of these in here? Does it matter? I've got the workforce for it. It's just it's a matter of if they have the dung, I think. I just want to see what would happen if I did this. I guess you don't actually need to connect those bits if it's connected on this side. So let me just see dung. There's still plenty on the island, this particular island, so fertilizer should be okay then. Yeah, now we've got loads. Simple. Okay, simple. And we've room for more, actually, which is nice. Okay, solving problems left, right, and center. Um, at least they're easier to solve than I thought. I thought that would be a tricky one, actually. I, I just didn't think I'd have enough dung to produce what we needed. And I think, just to anticipate problems, let's just give them another warehouse. Okay. All right, so that was for shepherds, jam, and wheat. So the problem there was we're not probably making enough wheat because they don't have the fertilizer, so there's going to be a huge knock-on effect before we actually feel this and get it back to where it needs to be. Also, I had said... Let's just make one manual delivery of this. I'm sure they're comfortable now, but just in case. Alright. 
jam and wheat. So, you can make jam anywhere, can't you? Yeah, we've got jam fields right here. And it's full. The wheat is probably trickling down. Yeah. But I reckon we could just set a ship up that does both. So... I suppose, to be diligent, let's first check jam. Six over three. So it's... Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Let's just turn on then all the... Mbesa Islands. So they need at least eight tons per minute if we're going to do that. So we have to increase these. You can always add another one around here. And tidy it up later. Don't know where your nearest warehouse is. There's some that You can actually reach that. That's incredible. Okay. Um, that should be more than enough, I think. Once they get planted and get built, we'll see. And then when that grain gets kickstarted again, I think it'll be okay. And there's always room for tons more. That's the whole point of this place. Uh, okay, so trade routes. So we want to collapse these categories just for a moment. So we want to do Cape to Imbesa. Do we have a Cape to Imbesa? Yes, we do. Imbesa to Cape. Paper export. Now, oh, could we double this up? Is there a need for it? Let's find out. Paper. So we're only consuming two here. Interesting. So this whole route is doing one thing, even though we're only consuming two per minute. All right. It seems like overkill, right? So if you're consuming two per minute, I would say you can get rid of that. Then on the way back, we could load you up with something else, right? So we wanted to load up with wheat, or uh, grain. And jam. Now, I'll have to check the amounts to see if this is a fair thing. I think so. Just pause that for a second. Hit. All right, so that route is called paper export. So what we do, I think, is go in here, storage, trade routes. Uh, we need to scroll down and find paper. There we go. Open this up. We can see how long it takes. Yeah. So we've got 18 minutes. I'm looking at seeing about 18 minutes now. I guess the ship wasn't ever totally full full. So maybe we could round that up to 20. If it's a bit slow, going a little slower, we could maybe put a propeller on it. So let's say 20 minutes to get from Cape Trelawney to Mbesa and back into Tabarim and back. So 20 minutes. So 20 times 2 for the paper means that we only need one slot for paper, right? Because we can carry 50. That means the, the demand of this island is only 40 tons per minute to get here. Yeah, so we can get rid of one of those. Hit accept on that. Grain then in works in reverse, so we'll have to see what they're needing in Embesa this way. Three. So 60. So it needs two slots, at least. And then the last one would be jam. Four. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so that, that also needs two slots, maybe three, if you want to just be safe with it. Good. All right, this works out nicely, actually, then. So let's do grain. Let's get rid of that one, get rid of this one. Jam. This third slot's overkill, but... It's okay to have it, just in case. And then hit accept on that. So that should be okay. So that's paper being picked up at Tabarim. We know that by the time the ship gets to Cape Trelawney, it's gonna, the island will have consumed 40. So we're delivering 50. That should be totally fine. And it definitely seems like we'll have enough to make there. So that's fine. Um, similarly, for these guys, they're gonna consume 60. We're delivering 100. And these guys are gonna consume 120 and we're delivering 150. So, oh yeah, actually it's, it's not overkill. It, it is necessary to have three slots. Okay, good. Nice. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we'll call this Embesa to Cape. So, let's call it Exchange. Paper Jam. Gray. Oh, did they update this to let you type more? Oh, no, that's... Yeah, weird. 
Hmm. <laughs> I seem to be messing something up there, but we'll leave it as is. Okay, so let's go to this thing. Let's just transfer that in, throw this paper overboard, and let him continue. So you're back on your mission. Now, do we have... We actually do have propellers waiting for us right here. Let's just go over to here. Where is the ship, actually? It's right on the edge. Let's get the propellers to come out to it. We'll throw a propeller on it, and then we'll um, we'll bail. We'll let it do its thing. Don't need to put a loading on loading thing on. The propeller is going to give us movement speed 10% and cargo slowdown negative 25. So it should just boost it just a little bit. There we are. I was wondering where that airship was. Stay on target. <laughs> All right. Drop. Cargo stations. <laughs> Smooth. All right. Off you go. Okay. So that's that done, I think. <laughs> so that's grain and jam delivered to Embasa, which is the last two goods necessary for... Whoa. Didn't want to do that. It's our last two goods necessary for the shepherds. That'll get them up to a nice healthy 20. And they've got everything else they need. All right. That's another one done. Another one bites the dust. Uh, the next thing. Interesting one. Hot sauce to the workers. So we need to deliver a bunch of things to workers in the old world. Hot sauce, beef, and clay pipes. Clay pipes. Okay. Let's check out clay pipes. Now, clay pipes, as far as I'm concerned, should already be going to the old world. Because it goes to the scholars, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. There it is. Clay pipes. Lusk to swords. So that's fine. So the export then out of here is using two slots. All right. Let's check the consumption metrics of clay pipes in the entire old world. Just out of curiosity. Five tons per minute. All right. And then we just have to check roughly. I don't need to be as specific with this one. Can't even find them. There we go. That's not what I wanted to do, game. I wanted to see how long the journey takes. Can we check that? Clay pipes to Lusk. Trade routes. There we go. It's tw 12 minutes on average, it seems to be doing. All right. And then the consumption of the entire old world is going to be... Now, we still have to do Cape Trelawney, I guess. So 12 times 5, whatever that is. I should open my calculator again. Just keep it open, actually. 12 times 5 is going to be 60. Nice even 60. So it needs two slots. And it has two slots. So that's totally fine. We are all good. And it's got room for more. In fact, let's give it a question mark so it gets more. Alright, so it's a little chaotic. I know we're deep in all these trade routes here, but we'll see the effects of some of this stuff now soon. Um, so, we need a route delivering clay pipe... Oh, sorry. Yeah, clay pipes to Rush. But maybe we could double it up with some other things too. So let's just get the ball rolling with that. So we'll say Lusk to Rush. Where, anywhere there's workers, right? So, Scaries and then Malahide. So we'll start off with clay pipes. There's not much of, but there should be. I don't know why it'd be running low, unless production has been stopped starting. I think it's all just going into swords, which is on 2,500 right now. That's probably why. Um, so unload that there. That's fine. Unload that. And we'll just wait for it to slowly fill up. And we'll just put a ship on it now. I love that this text is now off misaligned, just since that earlier thing. Is that okay? Just accept that for the moment. I haven't given it a, na given it a name yet. We'll stick it in the old world category. Just realized, actually, we should just put a question mark on it. It lets me search it very quickly. Okay, so that's clay pipes. Let's see what else they needed. It was hot sauce and... Just looking over my notes, I just can't find it. Oh, beef. It was just raw beef. <laughs> um, okay, so hot sauce is going to be the next one. Hot sauce might be here already. No, it's in the Arctic. So a route needs to be set up delivering... Oh my god, that was so loud. 
That was so incredibly loud. So Mano we need to find a Manola root that comes back here. Let me type question mark really quickly and base it to the old world. Uh, no, we need a new world to the old world. Importing lifestyle 02. That's a going out. We need one coming in. Doesn't look like there is one. Although this could just transfer it back the other way, but I think we need more than 50. But it, it might do it. <laughs> I guess let's see. No, it's too risky because it has to go to Cape Trelawney as well. So let's just make a new route for it. Trade route. Starting in Lusk, going to the New Worlds, picking up hot sauce, picking up beef as well. We could do both. All right, and then you need to get your beef. There we go. And we'll just assign it to be a ship that is one that goes between sessions, like this one. Okay, so this is going to be New World to Old World. Call it... Oh, there we go. We fixed it. Export sauce and beef. That could be nice, actually. <laughs> Depending on what it is. Hot sauce and beef. I had a beef burger yesterday with hot sauce on it. Love it. I don't know if that's a bad thing or not. It was in Five Guys. And they offer it as a thing. So I guess it's not that uncommon. But I love to spice everything up, basically. Speaking of, that's the name of one of the most popular mods for this game. Spice it up. People often ask me if I would do another run if I'd play with that mod. I've never actually looked at any mods for this game, other than the the one that adds the sort of Asian theater. That looks awesome. Um, okay, so that's all set up. We didn't give it any benefits or boosts. One thing I'd like to check, though, is do we make enough beef? Overall, globally, yes. Uh, the question really, though, is do we make enough beef between the New World and the Old World? And we're just taking it from Manola at the moment. So Manola doesn't actually make any beef, it just has some, but it's getting it from other islands, so I think it's probably okay. So let's just toggle on all these islands just to see where we're at. Yep, totally fine. Okay, cool. That'll be interesting now. So, and then hot sauce is the same situation. We'll just look globally. It's all made in Manola, actually, so hot sauce. A lot of it goes off to the Arctic, but it's been going there for so long that I imagine it'll be totally fine. 15 over 12, no problemo. So we should see our lovely little island of Rush. Oh, they don't have schnapps. Did we sort them up for schnapps? I think probably, right? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, hot sauce, beef, clay pipes. We should see that all kicking into gear soon enough. Let's just check that I did do the schnapps. And, you know, I have a bad memory, as you can... I'm sure people know by now. <laughs> so, old world. Schnapps is going straight up to swords. I don't think it's going anywhere else. Because I decided to get rid of the route that was doing it generally to everyone. And I'm only feeding it to a restaurant rather than to everyone else who needs it. Interesting. Okay. You need it as a happiness. Okay. So, hot sauce then. Exporting sauce and beef into Lus uh, yeah, Lusk. So that means that now we'll make a trade route delivering those lifestyle goods. So Lusk to Mal to Rush, sorry, to Scaries and Malahide. These all have workers on it. So we're going to grab ourselves some beef. Going to grab ourselves some hot sauce. We'll do this the old lazy way, which is just evening out both goods. And then also schnapps. I'll just get a general ship on this route, the surprise wind, why not? Holding shift when doing that, but it doesn't put the second one in until you t tap that in after, I think. Alright, cool. And then that's just going to be, uh, well, it's not strictly lifestyle delivery, but we'll call it lifestyle delivery. Actually, it should be delivery. And uh, maybe work. Workers. Okay, and then we just stick it in Old World. Bonk. Good. Alright. Let's let time speed up now, because I feel like we should start seeing the effect of some of this stuff soon. Now, I never actually grabbed that ship that was here. Not that they need me to do it now, but it'll help them out a little bit. So, you guys have everything? Yeah, 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 yeah. 98%. Good. Supply improving. Well, you've got it now. Okay, so that was clay pipes, beef, and hot sauce. The very last thing.
the very last thing is flour, herbs, and hibiscus to farmers. That's it. That, at that point, we've delivered everything to everyone. I haven't done it strictly to everyone because it's not done in Cape Trelawney yet. But that's just a matter of ships, and I'll do that just in between because you don't need to see it. Um, and then when I come back, the next video, whenever it is, is going to be like redeveloping islands to make them look nice. So the whole thing is basically going to be a time lapse, I think. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. So flower, herbs, and hibiscus. Flower, herbs, hibiscus. All right. Let's try the first one first. Flower as an intermediate. We actually don't make enough of it. It's mostly produced in crown farms. And globally, we are three tons per minute short. They're made in flour mills. Yeah, so we actually had a bunch of them down this way a long time ago. Oh, yeah. magnet for genius. I guess I actually cleared those not that long ago. All right. So another strain on the grain. And we're still waiting on fertilizer to get out of here. So something else I'm going to do is just copy this. Rotate it around. Uh, actually, we'll stick them out in this field. All right, good. I'll clean it all up later. Let's just add a little bit of extra grain for a while. Quick and dirty. So let's have a look. Flour. Is this used on any route at the moment? Cape to the old world, we're exporting flour already. It's going straight to Lusk. Great. And then old world, it's been delivered into swords, but not anywhere else. So it needs to go to these smaller islands that have farmers on them. So does the herbs and hibiscus. So we'll set up a generalized route for this trade route. All right, and just bring this back up to the top. So there we go, nice round route. Okay, so you're going to load up with flour. Then we want herbs, which I don't know if there is any in this place. No, we have to set up a route coming from the New World. And hibiscus, which I, which might be here, considering we have... Yeah, there we go. It's the petals as well. Excellent. Saint, that doesn't need to go there. There's nothing on that island. Okay, it's as easy as that. You've got canned food on you. Did I, was that, mis sorry. Did I, I don't know if I meant to do that. Yeah, I must have clicked the ship, didn't I? Oh, whoops. Hopefully it goes back onto the route it was supposed to. It was canned food, so I'm sure it'd be okay. All right, so old world, grab another ship. Just take it from Mbesa, why the hell not? It'll take a while to get out of here. Um, I'll tell you what, actually, we'll grab that one that had the thing on it. Livestock farm. Farmers. Okay, and that's that. So the only thing missing with that route was to do the herbs from the New World. So, again, herbs. Herb import from the New World. Nope, that's just, sorry, it shouldn't be called import. It should be called delivery. If it's just taken from an island in the New World. Delivery. Herbs. It's two ships doing it. Wow. Yeah, I guess so. They're both moving and they're both pretty full up. Okay, that's fine. So, import old world. Delivery lifestyle. That's one we just set up. Cool. All right, so yeah, this could be the... Le Let's search for a question mark, which I think we saw one that was coming out of the new world. Yeah, it's uh, probably not enough to take just 50 for all these different islands to get it. I mean, it might be, but it's probably not... Yeah, okay. I don't know. We'll just set up another one. If I can condense the route down, then sure. But for now, <laughs> we'll set up just a brand new route that's going to take the herbs from Manola out to Lusk. And that will all get set up then. I don't think it's going to need to be more than just two slots, though. So we'll just leave it at two slots and we'll leave this as a question mark. Export herbs with a bit of a question mark for anything else that has to come down later. Cape to the old... Not Cape to the old... New world to the old world. And a transitioning ship, please. Cool. All right, that is enough being buried in the trade routes, but that could that could very well be everything. 
in theory it is. So I reckon we start, we go all the way back to the beginning of this episode and just track if some of these things have started to get delivered. So the first one was Tef to the New World. So let's check in on that. So Tef Grass is here and work clothes to the Old World. Yep, that's all done as well. So we'd set up a route delivering work clothes just to Lusk and it's automatically delivered here because it knew to. So yep. We're totally done for Yonaleros, at least on this island. It'll have to be distributed to some of the other ones, but I, I'm i doing that later mainly because I want this island to fill up a lot. You know, wait till there's like a thousand and then send it to the other islands. And that way, it's like manifold doing it, if that makes sense, rather than waiting for everyone to come up at the same time. This way we get to see the bar fill up, basically, <laughs> in one episode, rather than having to wait for it to fluctuate and then eventually stabilize. Uh, the next one was Explore Lifestyle. Uh, needed schnapps and there was a tallow shortfall. This might still take a while to actually notice, but it could be better Yeah, so they have their tallow actually so that's nice to see and then what were they missing schnapps was just something for warmth They've got it at the moment. So that's good Next thing then was shepherds needed jam and wheat Last bird's crest is red. Weather will be fine. They've got what they need I'm getting a little teary-eyed here because I'm seeing green bars everywhere. <laughs> um, what was the next one? Beef, hot sauce, clay pipes to the workers. So we just checked that and it's that's that's definitely not going to be done yet. But we can check where the progress is. So let's search hot sauce. Hot sauce and beef. So this ship is full of it arriving to the new world, which already has some actually. Oh yeah, and some of it's already begun to arrive on the island. It must have just arrived now because it's on 99, so it literally just arrived. Yep, this is just emptied out. 99, 99, and 93. So they're getting through the schnapps already. So it's just arrived. Look at that. They don't have their clay pipes yet though, so let's check that out. Good is never loaded in Lusk. That one will take a very long time, I think, because... Although, no, I say that. The ship actually has 34 on it right now. Oh, I just clicked load everywhere. Whoops. <laughs> How silly of me. That was strange. I don't know how... I'm going to wait... I'm going to wait for the ship to circle around this last island. We'll this is really weird. This worker is just talking to me. Stop talking to me. Okay, so that ship has just passed by the docks there. That's good. I was just waiting for it to pass by, and now we can say unload there as well. All right, so clay pipe should arrive pretty soon. <laughs> that was so creepy, the way he's just talking in my ear. And the population actually isn't gaining that much because we're dealing with a lot of these smaller tiers. So what are we getting for that? One extra worker, two extra workers, and for clay pipes, three. So that'll be good. Get a little boost. We're pretty much as high as we've ever been as well. 233. Ah, something I wanted to do. There's two things left to do. We want to run a Grand Stadium event again. Just get another little batch of influence. So they need perfect... They've got everything, right? I think so. Yep, they've actually got everything. So nothing... I'm not needed here. But we're going to leave the Great Eastern here because I've never done this and I've genuinely never seen it. I really don't really look up Anno stuff anymore. But the World's Fair, they added in the last update an anniversary. Fine gifts and fireworks. So let's see if we have everything. You'd imagine by now we do. <laughs> so, they need plantains, fur, which we have, goulash, gramophones, and rum. We've got everything. We've done it. 40 minutes for preparation time. Let's just speed that up. And then, you know what? Let's let... Let's put the sun down, sunset the series in some ways. There'll still be a few more videos as we wrap everything up and try to beautify things. Oh yeah, it's always going to be fires. That'll be something that I'll want to work on actually is... Um, Production-wise, there is a couple buildings I still want to make. And that is the supplies for like all the different fire extinguishers, medicine and stuff like that. So let's see, fire extinguishers? So we do make enough right now, but it'd be nice to put down more firehouses. Um... Medicine. Yeah, we make enough of that. And what's the other one? Riot gear or something. Weapons. I can't remember what it's called. I know it's called like an arsenal. And show me the other ones. I just can't remember where they are.
Oh my god, I must be very old and very tired because I, I can't remember where you'd even see it. And I'm sure I've looked by it or even just looked at it out here. These are the arsenals, aren't they? They're labs. Where the hell is the lab building? Artistas. Scooters, City Hospital, Cinema, Fans. Put oh yeah. There it is. Found it. Oh, it was way bigger than I thought. I thought it was like one of these small buildings. So, it's called Police Equipment. Got it. I never really have riots, actually. It's more just the fires. We only make two tons per minute. We don't consume it anywhere because none of them have been upgraded ever. Cool. At least that'll be easy then. It's just the f it's really just the fires and maybe hospital stuff. So what's needed for that? Cowchuck and steel. Two things of which we have a lot of. And then for medicine. Medicine's all out here. That's a bit complicated, but I think we actually make enough of that. I don't know if I'd ever need another building for that. We'll see. We'll see. All right, let's check on these things. How are you doing? It's becoming even more beautiful. Yeah, it's about 25% done. And then in the old world, what do we got? Ah, about the same possible? thing. Oh, no, way more, actually. Way more. That's good. About 75, maybe 80. It's been a long time since I even zoomed in in this episode. <laughs> and time is playing now, isn't it? Yes, the sun will start setting. We see these fireworks kick off. Although I, I imagine the event runs for a while, doesn't it? So you're waiting on just about 10 tons of stuff left, so another cart will do that in no, no time at all. There we go. As it started then, 10 minutes, just like that. Happy anniversary. I hope they, um, can they just announce the next one already? <laughs> it's probably not coming this year, I guess, so yeah, I mean, I, would, I mean the announcement, not the game, but I would hope the game comes next year. Let me see the announcement maybe six months before. It'd be really sweet if you got like an announcement for the game in, I don't know, late October or something, and then you see the game in like April, May. That's wishful thinking though. My gut would tell me that you wouldn't get it till the end of next year, but I don't know. Who knows? I'm excited, man, to see what they come up with next. This game is so good. It'll be. I'm, I'm also scared though, you know, because it's like... When you're coming off of a really good game, you really like it. At least for me, I'm very cynical. And I just worry that they can't live up to it. And it'll just be full of problems or something. It'll be horrible. <laughs> so I just hope not. Please don't be like that. Please include a music player as well. That'd be nice. Half a million income. 234,000 population. These guys should have their clay pipes now. In the estates. There they go. So the last thing to do would just be sorting out some mail if I can. And again, I'll do that on my own. And then trying to make the cities look as nice as possible. So this city's largely done here and out here. And then it's got these new estates that need to be developed. Possibly over towards the coast and spreading out maybe the fishing down by the docklands could be kind of nice. And then we have, um, oh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. The guy that's like the rebel, dude. The anarchist. Yeah, what's his name? I don't remember. But anyway, this is like his village that he's converted. They're all holding their anarchy posters. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, giving giving each one a little bit of a different theme as well. There's no more DLC coming, right? I think the last cosmetic pack is out, I think. I hope not, anyway. I want to do th put the you know put a nice little bow on this whole thing. Use all the packs available to us. Alright, let's see how much time we got left. I'm curious to see what we get. Seven minutes. Let's speed it up. People are rioting. People are rioting. I just said people never riot in my in my lands. Why would you be rioting? Better to stay with my ugly story. Yeah, they need to get some of their happiness things. Findery. Oh, you're missing a musician's court. Hmm. I'll obviously remake all these places, but just something to give them some happiness for a while should help them calm down. And yeah, it's just going to be a matter of me then sorting out some of the trade routes that have to just do loops. All the main hub islands have everything they need and the main population centers. It's just a matter of making these small little ships do little routes going around to everywhere because their demand is so low. It's like one or two tons per minute for most things. 
I thought it would just be kind of tedious tending to all that. And even the ones in the Arctic are actually largely sorted out because the glaciers have what they need to. I'd feel bad, but I think I'm probably going to end up doing it. But basically deleting half this island's population just seems unnecessary. Dead weight. You don't want to completely get rid of it because if there's a problem and you have a shortfall, you need to sort of build back up. But the idea that there shouldn't be any of that anymore. Like, is there any need to have 680 population here? No, right? We've tapped all the um, glaciers for all the gas we need. We don't need anything else. So you should just bring this all the way down to about at the minimum amount, really. But you have to keep it above the amount that actually they need for, you know, husky sleds. So it's like, oh, you need 400 on the island or something like that. So that'll be something I'll do with a fine tooth comb, go over every island, just minimize the populations of, of these islands because they're needed so badly. But then the other ones, if you have any excess, you can build some extra houses. I don't mind doing that. All right, it's nighttime. Our fireworks are kicking off. Three minutes to go. We're in it for the long haul, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, what is this? 130 episodes plus the 36? We're like, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. How many hours do I, am I clocking here? 374 on this save file. Pretty ridiculous. Room. I feel like though I did everything I ever wanted to and then some. The idea was to basically stop the series after... I got... Yeah, I thought after Land of Lions would be done. But then they just kept coming with more DLCs. Two extra seasons. Look at that. Everything. But yeah, fully maxed out tourism. Fully maxed out um, Skyline Tower. The Iron Schlong. Tourists absolutely loving life. We have the tallest skyscrapers with intense panoramas. Fully maxed out. Everything there. I hard limited my my own development of the palace, but we hit multiple prestige levels of um, attractiveness. So that's all well and good. We're on prestige level four. Research Institute. I think we got everything. I think. Is there any items left to develop? No, not items. It's uh, research, isn't it? Fields of research. It's all done. Ain't nothing left in the game to do. Except build more great easterns and stuff. Nice. It's good. Very completionist feeling to have done everything. All right. We just have 40 seconds left. I'm just curious to see what you get. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying it's going to be anything crazy, right? But it's an extra... It's the sumptuous anniversary, which boosts our attractiveness a little bit. And then I'm guessing, you know, we get some items that drop some fireworks or something like that. And we can activate them in one of our town halls. The strike has been suppressed. And then, of course, don't worry, once we do time lapses, if you're if you're sticking with me for that, we'll do nice walks around the cities once they're all said and done. They've had their fun. Let's have ours. Yeah. Alright, sweet. Let's see what we got. <laughs> A gift from Kahina. Well, hang on, let's have a read of these. A gift from Eli Bleakworth bears the seal of her majesty and a note in a tiny cramped hand. For some reason, it also smells of soap. <laughs> That's cute. Paloma's precious parcel. Paloma. I'm not sure I would know that name. The wrapping comes in, comes off in some places, but it's covered in stamps. These include special edition specimen depicting the beard of the year. Oh, I'm guessing you got to do this for each one, maybe. A gift from Sir Archibald, a punctual delivery in the best of spirits, signed off by Your Majesty's most splendid servant. Memoirs of the markets, a set of dubious accounts that suggest a recent transfer on the black market in your favor. There's a note attached to to it. Stop reading my letters. I don't get the reference. Is it to do with the pirates, maybe, or maybe to do with the story? Comes with a certificate of authenticity and a bill. Good thing it's already been paid for. All right, let's unveil the rewards of the last tier. Gift from Emperor Kati. Oh, sorry, it's not Katima. It's Kahina. Madam Kahina. Excuse me. Oh, what is this? Some exhibitors have bought you gifts based on the success. What? Holy moly, a legendary equipment. Okay, we have that already. A quarter century rocket. 25. And uh, we've earned tickets. 
Dude, this is new to me. I had no idea about this. So how do we access this stuff? Investors? I have no idea. Let's open this. Maybe it'll tell me. What's our strategy? Hmm. I feel like a bit of a fool because I don't. I just have no idea how we. That was like an ornament-looking thing, wasn't it? That we just got special. Anniversary rocket. You need one. Oh, is this it? Fountain of Fortune and of anniversary. I haven't seen this. This is cool. I can't believe we're finding something new in the game here right at the end. Oh my god. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's that's really, really good. That's really awesome. It would look really nice in one of these places, I think. Hell yeah. Alright, let's uh, get rid of this fountain and try it here. A golden ship. Okay. So we've built the fountain of anniversary. But we don't have what we need for this, though. Was that just there anyway? I could have just used that anyway. Oh, here we are. Quarter century rocket. Dude, how have I not seen this? <laughs> a ship in time rocket. Oh, so you do get different things. The Divine Nine and then the 25th anniversary. Oh, it's... Okay. Where can we put this then? Globe statue, your time has ended. Let's move you over this way. I suppose it should face that way, but just for us, we'll face it this way. Oh, it just constantly sends them off, does it? Oh, that's awesome. Hey, look at that. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. A quarter century of fond memories calls for a festive occasion. Happy anniversary. And remember, if you're going out, always go with a bang. I feel like a poser, though. You know, I only came to the series with this game. And I played 1404 just before it actually released. When I'd heard about this game. I'd seen Nano before, but I never really knew specifically what it was. <laughs> so you can change the colors. I'd definitely go blue. We're Hans von Schlong, after all. It's got to be blue. So yellow, green, red, and just off if you don't want to run them that's cool yeah let's go with blue celebration time now one thing i'm still um, unsure about is we earned 15 tickets or something right i don't know what that is the community reward billboard <laughs> we got a we got a billboard guys check it out let's check it out <laughs> you think you'd be running the news about don't be saying tortillas are running out how dare you forget that surely these are of course you know what's best Oh, building an airship. Ooh, is it a hint? Could it be a hint of things to come for the future? Are we looking into a, an alternate history, maybe steampunk era, perhaps? Or perhaps it's just a billboard delineating or denoting the airships that we do build in the game now. But it's strange to call it a community reward, huh? Let's see what it says. Maybe we can find a hint. A reward for the 2022 Community Challenge. Par Avion. Hmm. I'm really curious as to what these ticket things are. Oh, is it like in the main menu of the game you can do something with them? That could be it. I don't think it's actually an in-game thing. I, I don't know. Look, I have no idea. I guess I'll know by the next episode because I'll play around with it, but I genuinely just have never... I didn't I didn't know. So we're earning tickets for something. To unlock rewards, I'm, a, I'm guessing in the main menu. All right, I tell you what. I'm going to save it here. We'll pop out to the main menu and see what's going on. It's a first for the series. But we've run our little anniversary. We have our... 15 tickets. You can see, I think there is a shop or something that you can buy from. I think I'm starting to remember this. Alright, let's hop out. Wow, that was super quick. I assume you guys are still here with me. The Grand Gallery. There she is. Oh my god, there's things to get. 
A marital grave, a simple grave, a divided grave, a family grave. Why are there graves? <laughs> cool. Awesome. Portraits? Skins? So I wouldn't be worried too much about the portraits, just for, like, this playthrough. It'd be nice to get, obviously, all the ornaments we could possibly have. Queen's Ship of the Line. Hell yeah. Queen's Airship, the Zephyr class, and the White Brick Church. You need 400 tokens. God, I'm going to have to run a bunch of these events. And what are these? Specific items. Don't leave it till later. Oh, di I didn't know about these things. What did anybody say? Can you even get this in game? Reduces coffee consumption by 30%. It's a bit late now. This is definitely in the game. Yeah, I'm guessing these are normally in the game anyway. Maybe a few of them aren't. Hand pollination method. Yeah. Cool. Arctic lodges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these are just standard. Okay, cool. So nothing there, but for me, I mean, for this playthrough, it's all great. I, I think it's awesome that they added some of this stuff in, but what I'm after is going to be all of these. Because if we're going to be doing beauty building, we're going to have to unlock them all. Oh my god, you can get old Nate's workshop. Dude. Oh my god, I totally need that. Because they have, like, um, little statues with his face on it. It'd be cool to make his dedicated area or something. Nice. We could build it on Lusk, actually, the big factory island. That's where he would be, I feel like. Um, all right, well, that's going to have to be it for this episode. So I don't think I can get all these very quickly because we only got 15 that time for doing the best one. So 15 divided by 200 and then adding all of these up, that's a lot. It's going to take a lot of these. <laughs> but I'll keep running them then as much as I can now in the background while I work out some of those trade route kinks. But that's going to be it for the production side of the series. I think that's that's kind of it. I'm not really going to be building any more buildings that produce anything. Just going to be doing rearranging and beauty building from now on. All right, so that's going to have to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.